have to run a marathon in less than 32 hours in a different country and I'm finishing a 6k run before the race I'm not ready mentally at all why am I doing this again? Honestly, I'm asking myself the same thing. I definitely was not planning on running another marathon anytime soon because the last one, if you saw my vlog, it was awful because of the heat. And now look where I am three months later, about to run my third ever marathon in a different country. I'm running it because actually one person messaged me on Instagram and said, I can't run it because I'm injured. Maybe you want to run it instead of me. So here I am about to run my marathon. I did have to buy my airplane ticket, just like the entry race, entry fee. I didn't have to pay it because he already paid it. 24 hours to go, I slept in. That felt so awesome. I slept till 8.20, but it won't feel like it's the day before marathon because I'm not picking up my number there because I'm flying in late in not late but like in the evening someone else is picking it up for me because i just wanted to spend the day here at home and just, just do some things i haven't had time to do because i work all the days other or i basically have no free days so yeah morning stretch is done now i have to go run some errands. i will talk further in the video why and what but i went to the gym i did not really taper for this race i'll talk more about it's later but I did do some stretching some pull-ups uh, mobility work I did uh, some upper body pump uh, biceps back uh, something like that practice the chin-ups that I'm bad at but overall just for me really low intensity workout for most people it would be a workout it's raining here I don't feel like tomorrow is the big day at all. I feel just so, so and low. What I meant by that, I don't know. I was in a weird feeling mode the past few days. I've just been feeling weird, like different, not like myself, kind of. And I had to use up my 50 euro gift card, where what I got in one competition. So I also went to the supplement store, protein store, and bought some goodies too. And just walked around. You know, it's a good time when a grocery store has 40% off for cereal. This literally costed like 30 cents. This was more expensive cereal, but more expensive. 60 cents with the discount. And these all are protein bars. <laughs> it's uh, 2 p.m. I'm eating leftovers from yesterday from work and then I'm gonna start carb loading more than nothing. This, but also snacks. You already know. I have two hours before I have to leave for the airport and now I'm only starting to pack. This is what I'm packing right now. Probably going to just go with this backpack and uh, just some snacks. Some food, I have one energy bar for the run. I have some protein bars, cereal for snacks, banana. Let's see, the cereal is dripping out. Damn it. <laughs> I'll put it in a bag. But uh, uh, meal replacement kind of bar, which is uh, there's all the vitamins and nutrients in it that you need, just in one bar, 400 calorie bar. My running vest. A t-shirt, my shorts, and my bra, some shorts to sleep in, and I'll pack also like my toiletries. I will wear the socks, no, but the shoes that I will run in. Currently, I'm in my sweats and a t-shirt. I think I will run in this. It's 6 p.m., 14 hours to go. I'm all packed up. I've literally, what I did the whole day, okay, I did go to the gym, I don't feel like I did, <laughs> but I ate, 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 and ate, and ate even more, and I barely can move right now, my stomach is so full, now I'm starting to think about it, because, um, like, my food has been acting up weirdly, the weather is showing for tomorrow, not great related to wind extreme wind 
and yeah, I know it's just a marathon. I just have been feeling weird the past week since the summer camp I had in CrossFit. Just overall, been feeling really weird and like not my, like myself again. So. Guess where I am? Oh, the sign is behind the construction. Whoa. I did not walk to the airport. Actually, I just got out of the bus. I've been walking for like five minutes randomly because I feel so sluggish after eating so much. It's not gonna lie. All I wanna do is like take a long ass walk because this has been like the rest day of rest days. Even though I, I did do some, some upper body pump. But I'm so sluggish after eating that much. I, um, I love uh, procrastinating and rambling and Five minutes later, hour later, I'm in Helsinki, going out, and my eyes are, my ears are shut. I know I barely vlogged anything of the race itself, and this is more like a pre-race, my feels before running the marathon that I didn't plan to run, didn't even train properly for, wasn't tapering for. Why I wasn't tapering? It's marathon day. For because I was like, um, uh, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's not a race, my A1 race that I was planning for. So I just went for it and woke up at 6 a.m. I stretched, I did my yoga. I slept actually pretty good. I didn't have that big race anxiety. Even though, yes, I had anxiety. I ate banana bread and the banana definitely was starting to get a little stressy. Uh, we drove to the race start. We got driven to the race start i was uh, staying with latvians so all communication in latvia and actually i missed the start line we were waiting in the toilet line for like almost 30 minutes the lines were crazy and then they were saying shouting 10 9 8 and um, i was sprinting to the finish line <laughs> but overall super windy but i was super super proud of what I did because I did not expect this race to be like this. I had no expectations at all. And I guess no pro runners were running this race because it's not like a PB route course. I did not like the course, but I finished ninth overall in the females. Ninth overall, like what? You can see just the wind was crazy. Afterwards, we got back. We walked a little bit late to drive, take a bus to get back. And uh, these are the things that we got. Half of them were like all of them were from sponsors but most of the things were not delicious at all and then we went to this interesting asian place with super overpriced and expensive not big volume meal but that's finland in finland eating out is super super expensive just keep that in mind that meal was interesting but so expensive look oh, we're back in helsinki airport 24 hours later it's literally the airport is so empty and so quiet and so peaceful and everything goes just so quickly, it's so chill. The next video will be fully dedicated and detailed how I ran a major huge PR in three months. Because three months ago I ran 3.38 or 9. And now I ran 3.28. Three months, 10 minutes. How did I do it? How did I do it? See you in the next video for that. Brace recap incoming.